When I was young and immediately I stumbled off the porch Now I gotta make me a play Out of my way cause I'm grinding in so much of stores Put it on hard, nightmare, or insane. Let's put it on nightmare. Outlast contains Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are miles up, sure. An investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of the Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and explode the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. What? I'm not a fighter? Do I have a gun? Y'all got snacks? Alright, this is about to be crazy. I'm scared. This girl called me, I gotta call her back. Y'all like the way the new mic sound? I know it sound good. Press, I'm press. I'm a journalist. Listen, my name is Miles Upshur. Upshur. Of yours. Miles. The Mount Massive Asylum. What kind of car is this? You gonna park? Confidential. September 17th, 2013. From whatever at mutemail.com to Miles. Subject, tip, illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. And this nigga here want to expose it because he is curious and white. I got some batteries for my camera. I think your camera can die here, right? Your camera can die. Hey, Colorado. Night mode? I don't know how I did that. Oh, hold up. Let me get this off my screen. I can't see. Let me get this. Uh... Okay, hold on. That mute was killing. It's like a little mute balloon on my window for like three days. Alright, so. My notes are right here. My documents are the whistleblower. That's my camera. Did I just change the battery? I use night mode. I like that. Let's 
press to open the door quickly press X to open the door slowly hold X and move forward <laughs> Notes are quickly added to you. I started feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by the Merkow Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Merkow Corporation has a long track record of disgusting profitless charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has, too, has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks these bastards. I don't want to cover up my, uh, I don't want to cover up my, uh, so, extra full screen, I don't want to cover up my, uh, my mic, not my mic, uh, my battery, alright, turn it on. Locked. Maybe we can just go in the front door. You know why not? There's a truck parked out of front though. Stop unlimited stamina. Locked on that side too. Ooh. This is creepy. All right, let's go around the back and see what we can see, baby. What's over? Oh, okay. Right, let's look around. I can still kind of see, so I don't need that yet. I'm on a lot of battery right now. Let's just save it for when we need it, baby. Let's go. You fool, what the is a freaking noise? Oh, ladder. We're breaking in, it's an open window. Oh, I mean, maybe I should record it. What is that? I've never understood journalism where you gotta break into the place. Like, when does journalism beget crime? Like, when is it worth crime? I mean, crime. Who's to say what crime really is in 2021? But, I mean, lawbreakers, I mean, or lawmakers, I guess, well, they really suck, they're kind of out of touch. But, like, you breaking it. What? Oh, no, God. Is this blood? Note that the night vision uses battery life, manage it well. I don't like this. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Can I turn this off? I 
I can. All right. Yes, dog. Come on. I took no more notes. Like this. You fool! Why would you slam that? Why would you do that? Why would you even do that? What's the password? You can't even do nothing with that. Give me that. Reload by pressing Y or triangle in my case. Oh my god, this food and doggone. Slam this dog, bro. I don't even know the villains in this. Why is there blood? Slam it. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Projector. Projector. Project Wall Rider. Case number 174. Patient initials WPH Billy. Billy. Consultation dated October 14, 2012. Initial date of patient consult April 12, 2009. Patient age 19, male gender. Observing of Observing physician Dr. Carl Houston, DVNR. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erthocytes. Erthos Erythrocytes? Jesus Christ, that's a serious word. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM, NREM cycle. I think that's your dream cycle. Laughter and NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note that only Traeger on company records one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Merkov Psychiatric System. Merkov Psychiatric Merkov Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider Massive. No massive CEO. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit. Um, okay, no. So did he like call on the phone and y'all hung up in his face or like Batteries in here. Please don't be somebody else on this door, please. All right. Well, that just means that we're supposed to go in here. That's just what that me. Excuse. I close that door. I know that. Soda? No, no soda. All right. Um. It's that that looks like a genital or or a spleen so I'm just gonna go maybe up here which way to go you're making a lot of noise brother
So I'm running around with whoever that bald dude is. I'll see you when I get out there. I can't even open that door. I gotta go to this door. <laughs> oh! oh shit! That scared the piss out of me. What is that? Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god. Alright. Was that the ball dude that we just saw? That really took it out of me, bro. I just really wasn't ready to move. Please, excuse me. I'm sorry, it's all over for you, but I still have a chance. <laughs> for real. Huh? <coughs> they killed us. They caught out. The variants. You can't. Fight them. You have to hide. But if they spear you up your booty like Vlad the Impaler? For the security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. I just filmed bro's death. I'm sorry that I had to do that, bro. I just. Evidence. You will be avenged. Ooh. Ooh. That's my run buddy. What's that say? I can't see it still. I know they about to chase me. I gotta get ready. Pig. And who are you then? And who are you then? I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. <laughs> You've sent me an apostle. So they want me to document everything as they send me through horror and hell. <sighs> I don't think I agree with that. I don't think I'll do it. No, I don't think I will. Escape the asylum, access security control to unlock the main doors. I'm inside. I'm inside, bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceilings. Their badges say, Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Dead Murkoff scientists, sheesh. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig in a, on a... Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Good Lord, just send me an apostle. Um, I think this is a good place to stop. Proclaim the gospel. Yeah, this is why Christians get a bad name. So what is our objective? Proclaim the gospel. That's a good thumbnail. Hey, proclaim the gospel. All right, I guess I should end the video right there. How long have I been recording? If I ain't been recording for longer than 20 minutes, I'm gonna keep going.
I've been recording for 30 minutes. No, I haven't. I was on the phone for some of this time. Let's start returning the game. Alright, well, let's go on. Should we follow the trail of blood right here? Or the phone? Let's go to the information desk. Are there zombies in this game? Please don't tell me there's zombies. I guess documents will be very essential. The Murkoff Corp. United States Office Warrant for Seizure Case Number 29475-8104. In the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. I thought he was moving in the background. Mount Massive Wilderness Area, County Road, Country Road 112. Sorry, I'm from Texas. Affidavits have been made before the Board of Directors by Markov Hardline Security MHS, who has the reason to believe the catastrophic security failure of psychiatric system center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavit or the affidavits and testimony established sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the insurance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of the document, you and any surviving relative surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp. or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances required their actions regardless of responsibility. So what is the point? Oh, basically they're trying to. Oh, they're trying to shut them down because it's unsafe. All right, well we're not gonna get attacked no more. So let's see what's in here. Can't go in here. Guess we gotta go the long way around. Oh, through the very creepy hallway. Well, I'm not gonna go downstairs yet, cause hell no. I'm gonna go this way. Get your ass in there, fool! Door. There's a key card. Maybe we gotta go downstairs. Oh my god, what is happening in here? What is what? These niggas had a job and a family. Give me that. Did he just close me in here? He did. Do you have a key card on you, sir? Do you? Oh my god, this is so gross. If he kills me when I come around here, is there anything in here that I can't see just with my own one good eye? No, there's not. So, that means we gotta go to the other room. Other room. I don't know why you still can. I'm going down here. I don't know why this seems safer. I just know it's not. I'm just gonna see what's down here. It's not. I have to go the way with crazy door jiggler. All right. <laughs> Dog, I'm so terrified to go this way. He went in there.
Project Wall Rider profitability, profitability Report. From Helen Granite. Dear sirs, the full report pending no immediate action is required on the part of Murkoff Corp. The profit of potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. Remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain, contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative and there will almost certainly be further casualties as with the others. However, finally, however, family and government interest in the patient is so low as to make any chance of legal action vanishingly unlikely. Wow. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control of profit. Respectfully, Helen Granite. Boy, this could be evil. The laws are evil. Look at him. He's looking evil up there. E B I L. Boy, oh, yes. Look at him. He look evil too. That's the power. St I mean, I guess. How do I look? Can I like peep over? Get off! Oh, that scared me. That scared the piss out of me. Oh, that's why I'm sitting there. He went in there, so I'm going. There. Is that the other door? I need a key card. So I gotta find a key card. Locked. This door needs a key card. The hockey wanna come. Mm. What the hell? Witness? Oh, gross. An arm. Okay, so the door broke off. No reflection. Him over here. <laughs> Damn, I just was waiting to push the nigga off. I wonder if I do it again with the work. I don't know what to do. They didn't kill me in the last spot. The door is right here. Oh my god, it was right here the whole time. Oh my god, a dead body. Sorry, I'm not a psychopath. I'm not used to seeing dead people. Anything useful? No, just traumatic, huh? Just some psycho psychopathic crazy foolishness, huh? Just a letter, boy. This is a good place. This is a good room to end it in. 
Hey guys, thank y'all for watching Outlast with us. The beginning episode. If y'all want to see more Outlast, the beginning, the first game, hit that like button, subscribe there to join the tribe, and we're going to get into the vibe. All right, guys, until next time. See you around. One foot in and one foot out the door. I can never predict what is in store.